In this video I will share a coffee and cocoa powder soap recipe. We are going to use coffee grounds and cocoa powder as a natural colorant. This is water soluble titanium dioxide that I will also use as a colorant. This one is mixed with water for easy use. Here is a coffee fragrance that I absolutely love. It's called Jamaican Cafe and Walnuts from Saint Perfique. I already measured it out and it smells amazing. The lye solution and the oils are at about the same temperature and I'm going to add the lye solution to the oils. The recipe I'm using you can find also in the description. I will not use coffee as a liquid part of this soap but I have another video where I share a method how to make coffee soap with liquid coffee and I will leave a link in the description where you will find this specific recipe as well along with all links for ingredients and tools that I'm using or recommending. I'm splitting off a smaller portion for the top part of the soap that is going to be an off-white type of color. The main part will be brown and I'm going to add the cocoa powder directly to the soap and give it a stick blend and add more if needed gradually. I try to trap the cocoa powder under my stick blender to incorporate it well. I absolutely love this color and texture. Let's add in the fragrance oil at this point. It smells amazing. I'm just going to give it a mix with the spatula at this point because I don't want to have it too thick because I would like to have a relatively straight layer for this particular design. Here is my Rambleberry 5 pound mold and I'm going to pour everything in it. The soap is still relatively runny as you can tell. In the meantime I will prepare the white portion by adding the titanium dioxide. The titanium dioxide needs to be stick blended but I'm not worried about this because this portion here can be a little bit more on the thick side so it can mimic a creamy top on the coffee if that makes sense. Now I add the ground coffee for some interest and some exfoliation. Looks great. I'm pouring it on top, trying not to break the bottom layer, but we will see about that later. Now I'm adding a little texture with a spoon, just some waves, nothing too crazy. The only thing left to do now is to wait for about 24 hours and come back to see how it turned out.
I love this brambleberry mold for the easy unmolding. The silicone liner inside is so smooth and nice to remove. If you feel that the soap is too sticky though, just leave it in longer, there's no need to rush. I didn't use sodium lactate here, but it's nice and hard so I can go ahead and also cut it right away. Let's see how the inside looks, I really like it. This will continue to discolor within the next few days, as you can already see by the borders that are a little bit more on the dark side. This is due to the fragrance oil. I will show you how the discoloration will take place after a few days at the very end of this video. I also love the creamy texture on top with little coffee specks. Also, you can see where the top layer broke into the bottom layer, but I really like it. It gives it a bit more interest and movement. I typically stamp immediately after the cut and what you can do if you're not totally sure if the soap is ready to be stamped, you can grab an end piece that you would usually use as a sample or for yourself and stamp on it so you can see if you are happy with the impression. Then you can just continue stamping. I like to place the stamp on the desired place on my soap and then just give it a light tap with the rubber mallet until I see that the stamp sinked into the soap and then I just wiggle it out gently. Once you get used to it, it goes very fast. And I think it gives a soap a cool finish, in my opinion. Of course, this is totally optional. I will create a video on the making of stamps very soon because I think it's absolutely great to see how this is done and to give you a bit more reality on how a stamp is made. Now I will leave the soap for about six weeks or longer before packaging. If you are interested in other soap making related videos, check out the playlist on the screen where you can find many more. This is by the way the discoloration I was talking about. See you very soon in the next video. Bye!